was going to do kind of a, a mishmash, whatever you call it, messing in the shop kind of video. But then I stumbled across these annular cutters on Amazon. Bought uh, one just to see what it was and holy cow. Check this picture out. Look at these things. The one on the right is three quarters. The one on the left is half inch. You try doing that with a drill bit and you don't get that clean and inside. I also checked them with gauge pins and they are spot on. I had a three quarter minus gauge pin. You have to kind of work it, but it goes in there. Same way with a half inch. So I wound up buying an assortment of um, annual cutters, small ones, you know, half inch, five eighths going up to one inch. And then I was recording, trying them here on the mill, but the mill, uh, let me show you the problem here. All right, to explain what the problem is, why, uh, yeah, you can see everything, why the belt's loose and the, the annular cutter causes it to stall. I had the touch DRO and I wanted to use the tack function. So I bought a printed little, little printed circuit board that's mounted in here magnets on the spindle thing made an adapter had a cap to cover it protect it the wires come out and go up to the touch dro now to get this all on here i had to take the, the belt that the mill comes with off so i could swing the motor out of the way now if i put that belt back on this the motor hits this it just i can't use that belt so I managed to find a slightly longer V-belt that fits the pulleys. But the problem is I'm maxed out here. This, you loosen it up and you can see there's a groove. And I'm at the end of the groove and the belt is still slightly loose. So I left it that way because it's kind of a nice safety feature. If something jams down here with an end mill, it slips. But now trying to use the annual cutter, it slips. So uh, I need another mill to extend this groove, but I sold the other mill, so I can't do that. Another belt, now I might put an idler pulley uh, bearing in here to tighten the belt up, or just leave it the way it is. I mean, I could machine a larger pulley for the motor to get it there, and then I still have some are, yeah, I have a pretty good gap in here. I can get my finger in there. So I'd have some adjustment capability, but that's basically the problem. It just, it's so old, the belt is slick, the pulley is shiny and slippery, so it stalls out pretty easily. It doesn't stall, the motor keeps going, it's just spinning on the belt. That's the basic problem. So, um, it slips, and there's a lot of force to an annular cutter for some reason. But to try to do this with a drill bit, no, you don't get that nice a finish. These suckers are like professional reamers. Reamers don't even give you this finish. So, I, this is kind of a mess for a video, but here's a bunch of shots of me messing around with various size uh, annular cutters and boy yeah they do make a mess big time so but figured out the secret low rpm which i talk about and feed it like it's a drill bit so hope you enjoy see you next time all right two things i want to share with everybody one of them old and one new the old, I did a video on this stuff a long time ago. The Navy SEALs use this on their guns to keep them from rusting. It's called Frog Lube. It's not a lubricant. Um, and, and because of that video, I know Tom Limpton, Ox Tools, uh, a bunch of people tried it and yeah, it works. What you have to do is just this weird green slime stuff open it up so you can see i guess that is it <laughs> uh, you heat the part up whatever it is and i've done quite a few things with it dunk it in there take it out wipe it off it's protected it will not rust 
I've done screws with it that I've put in the fence years ago. They're still just as shiny as the day I treated them. So that's the old stuff. New. I've always seen annular cutters and wondered uh, which uh, I didn't know which ones were good, which ones are cheap, you know, the China ones, Taiwan, you name it. So I took a chance because if you're trying to drill a big hole, the drill bit always chatters, you know, when it's a lot of material, like a half inch up, and it starts chattering around, so your hole is oversized. So I took a chance. I bought from this company, AC Tool, uh, on Amazon. They're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive. What a dream. No chatter. Just goes right in. I used this one on plastic, but I've seen videos of it, of them being used on steel and aluminum and whatnot. So I figured, well, before this company disappears on Amazon, let me order them. So I've got the 7 8, 3 quarter, 5 8, and I just was delivered two more. So I think I'm kind of done with the sizes. There, all right, so this is the one inch, and this is the half inch. And these are two inch deep. Most of them only go in one inch. But I figured if I'm going to spend the money, let me at least, you know, go two inches. And I did need that on the plastic. I was making an adapter for um, dust collection. They do come with a pin in the middle. I think, it, I guess it's a guide pin. Three-quarter shank. Um, so I put them in the middle in an ER32 collet. No problem. They do come coated with oil. So I should have brought a paper towel over here. I mean, well, well made. Sharp flutes. The tips are ground like you wouldn't believe. They're beautiful. This thing is stupid. It's got a flat on it. I think the diameter is 6.35 millimeters. Why would you come up with a number like that? Where are you going to... I guess I'd have to custom order the drill bit for it. But I'll have to clean this one down and get the oil off of it. But yeah, this is another beautiful one. The other curious thing is, who puts their label on perfectly straight? Nobody. Usually everything from China, it's like, oh, at a big angle and stuff. So I'm surprised. Boy, one inch. This thing is going to be vicious. Oh, look at this thing. So, um... Yeah, they go way up there to two inches and probably higher than that. Boy, this is one. The grinding on this is incredible. Man, it almost looks like it's lapped, but. And they are sharp, dangerous sharp. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm sad. I've got a pretty good assortment here. Just need to figure out where to put it. In a, uh, in a drawer and make space for it or whatnot. So I just wanted to share that. These things are well worth it, let me tell you. Yeah, I don't think the lighting's too great, but I never played with an annular cutter before. But this is another adapter for dust collection I have to make. And it's the UHMW, which if you run a drill bit in it when it gets deep enough, it starts stalling out the lathe because of friction. So I figured, you know, and then I have to bore it out to get the hole big enough to move enough of, uh, sawdust. So I thought, all right, let me try an annular cutter here. Um, all kinds of sets, but they're expensive. I don't know which ones are good or not. So this one had a lot of good reviews. It's an AC tool. I don't know if you can uh, turn it so you can read it. And it did come with some center pin. I, it's not a drill bit, so I, I guess you drill a hole. And this keeps it on center if you're drilling steel. It's kind of strange, too. So it says like 103 millimeters. That has to be the length. 6.35 millimeter diameter. Come on. But I don't need it. And it does work. I mean, nice core, little core. All of them are one inch depth of cut. This is two inch. 
and the reviews are like I said this sucker is really nasty sharp ow even though I'm only going into plastic I wish they made a whole set I would buy the set but they only sell them as um, single pieces so to get a set I'm gonna have to buy one at a time which is gonna cost a small fortune <sighs> blow it off a bit yeah sucker is a nasty show it's got really nice angles really shiny it was well ground well made so I'm thrilled with it three-quarter shank so yeah I can put it in a three-quarter ER 32 um, so I just want to let people know I like this company and I've already put a bunch of their other sizes on my Amazon wish list so maybe next month when the credit card clears I'll buy a hundred dollars worth of them just to have various sizes they go up they go up well over an inch I think I have an inch and a sixteenth uh, on my list so who knows all right I figured let's try it out that's the one inch uh, annual cutter that's a pretty darn big hole and I am going to use the fine feed I have a feeling you don't have to but I'm just going to do it anyway now this I would never do this with a one inch drill bit let me tell you it would walk everywhere so all right turn it on let's see what's going to happen probably low rpm I don't know what it's at DRO is off but all right let's go down uh oh I should have the vacuum cleaner ready I have a feeling it's going to spit chips everywhere so let's see go down let's touch it yeah vacuum <laughs> all over the place here can't go fast I'll tell you that all right one inch pretty much so pushes a mini mill this is three quarters fine feet again and boy it's gonna be a big mess to clean up but vacuum. Clean up a bunch of them. Huh? Here, here, here. All over the place. All right. All right. Well, let's see what it does. Huh? On. Huh? Uh -huh. quarters is not a problem oh that is a nice hole where's my thing so you guys can see this oh it's hot yeah it got hot but yeah that's a pretty clean wall right there turn the mill off wow that is that is nice I'm thrilled with that turn this light off so maybe you can see better yeah pretty nice Oh, there's a little piece hanging on back here. That, where did the piece cutout go? Oh, it's stuck up in there. Oh, that's what that pin might be for, is to eject this stuff. So, ow, one inch is pushing and I'm not going to go higher. Yeah, there's the slug in there. Does it come out? Yep, it does. Oh, man, this, these are making nice plugs why is it where's uh, all right let me get the pin uh, wait I almost lost the microphone also yeah I realized yeah point uh, what was it 6.35 millimeter diameter is quarter inch push this out 
Oh, man. There, popped out, blew up. So it makes pretty cool little plugs, I'll tell you that. If you have a hole and you want to bore it that size, stick that in there, it just plugs the hole. Sheesh. This is cool, huh? This thing is full of oil. All right, so end of experiments. Well, thinking about this, I know I need it really solid. The way I had it, lots of vibrations, probably causing a problem, chatter and stuff like that. But I also looked up, you know, these are supposed to go into a magnetic drill. You look up all the magnetic drills, they're basically 350 RPM. I've got the DRL on, so I can see what RPM I'm at. I know that there was one YouTube video, the guy was saying, oh, he's running at 800. Well, you're way up, dude. And I have a feeling you run this like a regular drill bit. So let me see, it's hard to, because you need the horsepower. When you're that low in RPM, my belt is old, slippery, the pulley is shined up. You know, I'm at 417 RPM. And I'm just gonna feed it straight in, right? Okay. Wow, where do I grab it? Look at that, see? It just this is only a half inch. Oh yeah, it's starting to stall. So I gotta carefully feed it in to get through. Nice, not as much mess. Boy, this stuff is thick. I'm still just pushing it in slightly. Don't stop, it stalled on me. I have a feeling it grabs when it's about to break through. Yeah, it just broke through. So there you go. Big mess, but less. Boy, those are gonna be sharp and dangerous. That is a nice hole. Yeah, it's just warm. So, okay, low RPM, tons of horsepower, what you need. Um, at least with a half inch. I don't know how much bigger I can go, but let's see. I'll play with it off camera. Wow, looking at that half inch hole off camera. That is beautiful. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I was thinking too, boy, if you wanted to make a cylinder for an engine, these things will do it. You have to just barely lap that. That's better than a boring, you know. So here, three quarters now. This is a massive hole. Going to do the same thing, just hand feed it. DRO's off. So I'm not sure what the RPM is. But let's just hand feed it in. No fine feed. Yeah, same thing. Huh? Try to stop some of this junk from flying. Oh, it's handling this, no problem, yeah. I'm just barely pushing, just to keep a forward motion to, oh, this is gonna cut me. Oh, this is nice. And yeah, it'll grab just when it's about to break through. So, sometimes, yeah, the fine feed helps. Whoa, boy, it's junk flying everywhere. It's gonna do it. Oh, I gotta stop backing this up. This is a big mess everywhere it's here. Uh, oh, jeez, and look at that. Even finer stuff. Wow. Go through that wad in the trash can. It's really nice and fine. So, this is gonna work. Uh, I guess I'll just finish this hole off camera. But this is off. I love it in this now.